There is a new way to manage errors here in Power Query, and I am going to show you here, so let's get started. Make sure that you check Query Learning Portal. All the videos I've ever created are available for you by searching or categorize. So you have complete tutorials, modeling one on one, anything that you might want to learn about Power BI is available here. Okay, Luis and gentlemen, so you had before, I'm sure, imported from an Excel file that has a ton of errors. So let me show you my source. There you have it here, and then you have rows that returns the div error, otherwise the value error, for example. I have actually imported them in Power Query, and I want to show you what you can actually do to manage those errors. So when you're reading Power Query, this is what you're going to get. And there are different ways you can manage this. Obviously, if you don't care about the type of error, you can always go into the red one, replace errors or remove errors. You can, for example, replace it with no, and then you're good to go, <laughs> as easy as that. But uh, another way you can do it, you can add a new column, and then you can do the try, keyword they call it, so what this does is it will tell you what errors occurred. So if you open this up, you will get to, to a column that is called message, and this will tell you the error that it found. And we need to keep this into mind, keep this column into mind because we're going to use it later. So this will definitely, it will just solve the errors for you. It will tell you what the error it found. If you want to solve the error, you will go to a new column and you would do try value a and then otherwise you tell what to do with the column and then you can say okay substitute everything with no the thing with this try otherwise is that it treated all the errors equal you could not have an if condition here that would allow you to say okay if it was a div zero these two are div zeros so do x otherwise do y you can't do it so you can you have to treat them the same way as we did on the first step now to allow to treat errors differently and solve them differently they have introduced a new what they call keyword called catch and this is what how it works so if you go to custom column and then you do some exactly the same thing you do try and then you do a b that's the column that has the errors and then instead of otherwise you write cat but the what i don't really like is the syntax so you have to write cat you have to write the name of the function because catch is basically like a function i believe so this is the syntax that you have to write here you can call it whatever you like i'm going to call it f for a function but you can call it anything and then you say what you want to do in this case, let's say that we want to solve everything to null. And this will do the same thing as right otherwise. So you should probably tell me, okay, so what's the news? Well, you can add an if statement after the catch. And this is how it works. So if you go in here, instead of null, ha, here you can actually do if, and then you can, with the function if, you can call the message. You don't need to have it open. It will the catch function will actually open the message error message and look for it and then you need to find what the actual error message is which is a pain so you need to literally write whatever the <laughs> error message was terrible and then you do then however you want to solve it and then you can say else if message i actually have it here let me copy no reason to see me write this stuff so you say if the message is invalid cell so you say if it is a ref error then put value a if it is a div put zero otherwise put no and if we solve this you'll see that it will give us different values depending on the errors which is exactly what you wanted so very useful but the syntax is mad. <laughs> so I wish it would have been as easy as try otherwise, where you don't have to find, you know, like write function names and stuff. But hey, you can always look it up, right? So if you Google catch when you need it, then you will be able to find the syntax and copy it accordingly. So yeah, this is what is new with managing errors in Power Query. 
I will see you again hopefully this week. Otherwise, I will see you next week.